Uh, good morning. Last day in Thailand. My flight tomorrow is at like 5 a.m. It's your boy, Maddie Eyes. So tired from last night. My head's pounding right now, but it's whatever. About to go get breakfast and then see what we're gonna do for the rest of the day. Ending breakfast with a pineapple banana smoothie. Oh my god. I don't know if I'm gonna have time to go swimming, but here's a swimming pool. Alright dad, where are we going today? We're going to uh, visit the floating market mm -hmm. and check out what, what do they have. We just got dropped off by the grab. Now we're here at the floating market. Here we are in the marketplace. They have a lot of fresh fruit that you can buy. This part of the market has some more souvenirs that you can get. Also has some food. Oh my gosh, there is so much fish here. It's like there's like literally no room for the fish to even exist. Dude. As you can see here, these boats, these are uh, restaurants. So the chefs are on the boats and then the restaurant is also above on another boat itself. One's just like on top, can even. Got some fresh, or I think this they have some dessert here that this lady is making. Ooh, a lot of fresh fish. Uh, cooking or grilling some uh, shrimp and crab. Grilling some fish. It's super good. Hello. And then fresh veggies. Ooh, got some sauteed chicken skewers, I think. And she's cooking something on the seashells. It's pretty neat. It's probably some really dank, like Tom Yum soup or something. Looks so good. Hi. Once again, look at all this food. And wait, look at the size of these shrimp. Or I guess these are prawns. This place has, I think these are eel. Right here, and look here, we got the baby, baby turtles. Right now she's whipping something up, and I think it, it turns out to be this, right here. This place like, looks really good, I mean, uh, I think it's one of the more famous ones in this marketplace. Let's finish ordering whatever this thing is, I'm not sure. It's about 20 baht, which is like 60 cents. I'm about to try it real quick. It's kind of sticky. Huh? I don't really know what it is. It's like some noodle, right? It's like noodles, but... Sweet noodle, I guess. Kinda, but it's a little bit savory a little bit, too. <laughs> it's good. It's really good. How's the soup, man? It's delicious. A uh, little bit um, uh, sour and sweet, but a uh, typical Thai uh, soup. Here we are at MBK. This is one of the shopping centers here in Bangkok. Here is kind of like the bazaar type area where you can buy different stuff like bags, sunglasses. Of course, this guy has to get some. His Go. favorite. <laughs> this is my favorite shop right here. 69 baby clothes. This is all of our souvenirs that we got for our friends. Shot glasses. Perfect. Okay. Gave us a good deal too. <laughs> Thank you. Can I take a video of that a second? I know a lot of my friends who'd like this. <laughs> Coolest shirt. Oh, all three of them right there. <laughs> Rose Neon. Street food and noodles. Look and see what's good. Got the pork skewers with some sticky rice. And it got some Tom Yum soup. And dad has his coconut. We're gonna try the uh, pork skewers. Dip it in the sauce. Don't know what it is. Mm, good. Let's try some of the tom yum soup real quick. Just try the uh, soup. It's good. I just don't know what it tastes like. Thank you. Watermelon. Might as well do this one too. <laughs> Drink review. Looks it's fresh. Something, but this is 
some that's the green stuff has noodles on the top and then it's coconut uh coconut milk with some ice food review oh that's good i really good this is the last that's the part last of our one. feast mango with sticky rice see that's so good it's like really warm it's a nice contrast of flavors 10 out of 10 home meal no doubt this place is a place to go to when you're in bangkok bangkok wait dad why was the massage so bad <laughs> well i got the the heavy uh the heavy girl doing the massage aside i mean i think i can feel the the whole world the, the whole weight man because like, oh. <laughs> Just finished resting after the massage. Where are we going now, Dad? We are going to Asia Tik. Uh, we're gonna eat some exotic uh, food. Here we are at Asia Tik. It's raining right now. It's kind of not ideal conditions, but we're doing it. I think we found what we're looking for at Grand View Yummy. There's some scorpion oh, here. There's some scorpion. Oh, it's, it's not open though. Because yeah, because it's raining. Right. Oh, here, yeah. You can see some scorpion, some grasshoppers and stuff. Maggots. This is what we came for right here. The scorpion master. Do you want some? Or is it uh, just me? It's, it's just me? All right. <laughs> I almost ate this and we weren't even recording. So I almost just sacrificed, whatever. We have the scorpion right here. We're about to go and try some of it. I'm definitely not going to eat all of it. Uh, I'm kind of stalling right now because I don't even want to think about eating this. When in Bangkok, do us whoever, I don't know, let's just eat it. It was at this moment that he knew he fucked up. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not stalling yet. I'm not, <laughs> I'm not stalling wait. wait. Alright. Crunchy. I'm out. No, I'm done. I'm done. I can't. No, no. Stop. Stop recording. I'm sorry, guys. I just feel like I quit on you. I ate. I mean, I ate some of it. I ate the. I ate one claw. But literally, if I were okay, I'm. I'm gonna give like a. This is my detailed food review, real quick. Try. Try eating a crawfish shot, peeling it. Literally, just the hard exoskeleton. It's. So, if you. I mean, I'll replay the clip probably. If you heard that crunch. It was so. I feel like I hurt my. Uh, I hurt my teeth. Cause it was so. I was like, I oh, know. I was joking. Y'all thought, thought. I'm not eating this anymore. I'm throwing this away. The taste of it. The taste was fine. They put some seasoning on it, right? The taste was literally. I mean, I would eat it if it was a piece of chicken. But the one thing I couldn't get past was the exterior shell. The shell was just so bad. So final food review for this scorpion. Two out of ten because I give it two because it didn't taste bad I just couldn't finish it because it was so tough and just not good not yeah hey uh the aftermath I could still I feel, this will be like there's like some crunch in my mouth we did it for the fans for you guys but trust me that one pincer had the wrath of two pincers this is the outside boardwalk of um, Asia Tick Market area, mall type area thingy. Hey, there's a duck! Yeah, I couldn't do it. I needed something to wash down that damn scorpion. And honestly, like, I felt like my throat was closing up on me. It might just be me being really dramatic. Probably is me being really dramatic because I am really dramatic. I've never done this before. I'm not sure how I feel. Oh, oh my god. Oh. <laughs> Wait, look at my <laughs> How do you feel, man? How do you feel, Mark? And any review? What's your uh, massage review? This is my first time getting this done. I hate it. I do not like this at all. It, does, <laughs> it like it like, tickles, but it, <laughs> it feels like someone's just attacking my feet. I don't like it at all. I, I think like every other second that I talk. It's like a new sensation that goes through my body. That, oh, like they really like my back heel. I guess there's a lot, there's a lot to eat there. I don't know. Yeah. Here we are at dinner at 
Thai restaurant again. Dad's ordering his food. First part of our meal, we got some Pad Thai, got some soup, got some fried chicken, looking good. Added some more, some chicken wings with fish sauce. Got a mojito. Made it back from dinner at Asia Teak. Now, gonna head back, pack up, get ready to fly back tomorrow morning. Just finished taking a shower, about to go to bed. This officially ends the Bangkok vlogs. Pretty fun weekend here with my dad in Bangkok. I have to wake up in like four hours, five hours to catch my flight because at three in the morning, so get sleep. Talk to y'all later. Peace. Mad Ice Bangkok vlogs. We out.